How to become an Amazon best-selling author. Marketing is marketing. The same principles apply whether you're selling software or financial services, films or books on Amazon. The same principles apply. So when Rob Moore and Mark Homer from Progressive Property and Robin Shaw from Humber Property Network approached us to help them become the number one best-selling authors on Amazon, we applied the same methodologies to that as we would to any product launch. Their book is called Progressive in Property and you can get a copy from the link below this video. Before I tell you how we did it, let me show you our results. As you can see on the screen right now, our brief was to hit the number one spot for the guys. So as you can see, job done. The purpose for this book was to position Rob and the guys as the number one experts in property in the UK and to sell their services to the buyers of the book. Rob said that the launch had exceeded his expectations and he would make a cool £250,000 from it. Not bad considering his budget for the launch of 20k, so that's a healthy ROI. OK, I'm unable to say exactly what we did for the launch process as most of what we did is our secret stuff. But I wanted to share with you some of the elements to focus on when you're launching your product or services. 9 Top Tips to Bestseller Success First thing we realised is no one wants to buy this book for the sake of having the book. They want what the book will give them. So just like any marketing endeavour, sell the outcome you'll have as a result of reading the book. Number 2. One of the things Rob did was to set up some great bonuses for people who purchased the book. So we suggested to Rob that they not sell the book, instead they focus on selling the bonuses. This worked very, very well. Number 3. This book is a great read all about people who've studied Rob and Mark's brilliant material and then gone on to make millions in the property market. One of the hardest things you have to get over as a marketer is the disbelief that it's possible for people to emulate those results. So we advised Rob and Mark not to focus on how well they've done in property, 240 houses, but instead to sell the stories of the people in the book, thus making it possible for others to achieve those results too. Number 4. Originally the book was positioned as an inspiration book. We advised them to change the positioning to sell money at a discount, invest £20, get £200 back, not inspiration. Chicken soup for the property investor is a terrible idea. Property investors want money. This had a huge effect on their sales. People don't want inspiration, they want solid, actionable information they can use to make money themselves. Number 5. This bears saying, see who is also launching their book on that day. Going head to head with Fifty Shades of Sexy is a bad idea. You can get access to who is launching other books if you know where to look. And were it not for the hype around the mummy porn of Fifty Shades of Grey, Rob and Mark would have easily been number one for much longer. Number 6. If you're using joint ventures to create buzz, you must work hard to have the JVs in place, ready to go and be persistent in making sure they will mail at the same time for you. Number 7. We used a number of sexy advertising strategies, including a little utilised one of placing ads on forums. Again, I'm not going to tell you how to do that, but think it through and you'll get the idea. Number 8. 99 times out of 100, CPA buys are crap and don't work. Number 9. This is a big piece of advice for you. Do a soft launch so you can test everything before the launch. Copy, headline, price points. This is a pain in the ass to do, I agree, but the difference it makes is huge. Why launch a big campaign without knowing the best way to make it work? So there you go. That's how we helped Rob and Mark of Progressive Property launch their new book and make £250,000 in the process. If you'd like us to help you launch your product, you can get in touch with us at rawlocal.com.